Hey guys, this is Charles Blair, the Mad Scientist, and I want to give you a mad marketing snippet. In this mad marketing snippet, I'm going to talk about some of the best ways in which you can find rock star virtual assistants. Well, this is nice. Now, what do I mean by rock star virtual assistants? I'm talking about individuals that can work in your company that can just knock out all the tasks and duties that you want them to do. Some of my best ways of doing this is one, I have a website, a secret website that we use all the time. It's called onlinejobs.ph. On that website, you can find uh, virtual assistants for $2, $3, even $5 an hour. Damn! The key to getting a rock star virtual assistant is giving that virtual assistant tasks and duties that is going to basically allow them to be successful. So what do I mean by giving them a recipe for success? The key to what I'm talking about is make sure you have detailed instructions. If you can, make a version of your instructions by way of video. Also, you want to make a version of your instructions by way of a PDF screenshot that have details of exactly what the task you want them to do. Now, when I'm hiring an actual virtual assistant, one of the key things I do, I give that person an actual test. Now, what do I mean by a test? Sometimes that test can be consisted of, for example, if I'm going to hire somebody for cold calling, I'm going to tell that person to say this script and then send it to me as a recording so I can actually see how well they speak English. That's one of the ways in which we make sure we hire the best person for cold calling. So that's a test that you can actually give virtual assistants who you're hiring. And that's basically one of the key factors to getting a rock star virtual assistant. It's all about details. Now, when you have that rock star virtual assistant, how do you pay them? There's a couple of services that you can use to pay them. One is called Payoneer. We love that service. That's what my company used. Another service is PayPal. Now, PayPal isn't as robust as Payoneer because sometimes some locations around the world, PayPal won't work. And as a matter of fact, some of the actual countries won't even accept PayPal. But we have yet to find a location where Payoneer is not accepted. Another key thing you want to do is train your VA. Now, some of the tools that you can use to train them is something like Jing. It's called Jing. It's made by TechSmith. It's an actual free tool, and that free tool will allow you to basically train your virtual assistants in all kinds of mechanics in your business. For example, you can take a screenshot or a screen recording and show that as an instructional video to your virtual assistants. One of the ways we communicate with our virtual assistants is, some, is Skype. Now, I know a lot of you guys have heard of Skype. It's one of the main platforms that outside sources have been using for years in order to communicate with their freelancers. So that's a great tool that you can use to communicate. Another fantastic tool you can use is Zoom. Zoom is also free. You can use that as a way to create videos and how you want to have a conference call with your actual VAs, you do a Zoom meeting. Because the key to working with a VA is certain tasks, certain factors, but most importantly, the ability to get the work done. So if you're going to hire a VA for $2, $3, $5 an hour, you better give them detailed instructions, detailed information of exactly what you want that person to do. And those are the key factors that you want to look for. Now, I'm also looking for somebody that can speak English very well, especially if their job is speaking on a telephone or communicating with your support team or communicating with individuals who have issues. I'm also want to make sure I find somebody that actually have done the job before. Never hire somebody to do a job that you don't have any expertise when it comes to how that job is supposed to be done right. If that's the case, then you could be basically setting yourself up for failure. Also, one of the factors you want to think about is, should I pay that person weekly? Should I pay that person bi-weekly? Or should I pay that person by the month? Most of the time we pay our individuals bi-weekly, but they don't get paid in advance. They get paid after the actual first two weeks and then they'll get paid. I hope these factors will help you when it comes to hiring a rock star VA. If you guys have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. This is Charles Blair, the Mad Scientist, with my beautiful wife, and we're currently right now in New York City. Take care, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.